Hello, I'm Frank Hannaway, and welcome to Big Journey, Small Steps. Well, in my quest to become an excellent caregiver, um, one of the things I've heard from people that I trusted um, is don't get so involved, stay detached. And my spiritual teacher, Ishwaran, says the same thing, that when you love people, you should maintain a sense of detachment. And I found that very confusing because love seems to be involving yourself. So I couldn't figure that out for the longest time. And I, it was so obvious to me that I was extremely attached to a lot of things. And so I had a really great experience that taught me. My mom is still teaching me so many things. So last week I was going to go visit a friend of mine who will soon be 91 and she's having some problems, the issues that come when you turn 91. And I go down and see her and I bake some cookies for her from her cookie recipes and I was all set to go. And Janet, I thought Janet was coming at three o'clock and Janet thought she was coming at four o'clock. So about 310, I called her and we just had our times messed up. And, and she and I both argued it, it's so different than most people. I kept saying, I must have messed up. And she said, no, no, I'm sure I messed up. And we neither one knew and it didn't matter. It was kind of funny, really. We're that, that, that we can be so sweet with each other. It was just great. But anyway, so she dropped everything and came over, but it still took her a few minutes. And during that time, I went to sit in the car. So I told mom, Janet's on her way. And I'm sitting in the car and I look up and I see my mother in the rearview mirror. And so I got out and said, Mom, this is what really worries me is that you will go outside. And she said, well, I wanted to see what was going on. And I said, well, that's why we need Janet here because you might just decide to go outside. I promise me you won't go outside by yourself anymore. So two minutes later, I look up and here she comes again. And yet a third time, and I was getting so frustrated. And then Janet showed up. Janet said, calm down and just go. So I got about two miles away and just broke into laughter because I'm thinking, how long does it take one person to realize? Now, and it's fine to just say this started with Alzheimer's, but my mother's been like this her whole life. You, you can say, please don't do that. And she goes ahead and does it anyway. And of course, it's gotten much worse. Um, since she's had Alzheimer's, but um, and in fact, yeah, anyway, I'll let that go. But so I started laughing because it's just not in my mother's character to trust and obey, to quote an old hymn. And um, and then I thought, oh, my gosh, I'm spending so much time worrying about her safety and maybe I need a new paradigm shift. So we are no longer doing things with mom that are life extending. Like, you know, you eat this and you eat that. I mean, she eats very well anyway, but we're not putting an emphasis on eating correctly or things like that, or taking medications that are going to ward off some illness in the distant future. We're not going to do that. There isn't a distant future. And so my job is changing from the person who's trying to take care of her and keep her safe to the person that just makes her life lovely all the time. And so for the past week, I, that is all I have done. And I found myself better in so many ways, just sort of imperturbable. Hmm. I think that's a word, M. Perturbable. I don't think it's imperturbable, but I will go and look it up, and I hope you will too. Um, I'll put in the a description below. So anyway, I'm starting to learn about attachment, and it doesn't mean I don't love my 
mother, but I'm learning that if I'm attached to the results of what I do, um, I'm going to have a rough time because it's not things I can fix. It's not I can just have a nice logical talk with my mom and her behavior will change or something. No, that's not going to happen. So I might as well just redirect her if I can as calmly as possible and then get on with it and do anything that she likes that doesn't out and out hurt her or hurt somebody else. And that's really having her best interest at heart. Wouldn't you like it if somebody was taking care of you at the end of your life, if all they wanted for you was that your last time on earth was as comfortable and as joyful as possible? And that is possible with Alzheimer's. My mother is not miserable. Sometimes she gets agitated when she can't remember things or she gets nervous. Or, but for by and large, she's very happy. And when I'm getting all upset because she keeps coming out of the house when she doesn't know whether or not there's somebody with her, um, she's not worried about it at all. Well, thank you so very much from the very bottom of my heart, I would like to, as I always do, wish you peace and joy.